Inaugurated in 1919 as Shields Watkins Field, Neyland Stadium in Knoxville is one of the most thrilling places to watch football. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. Maglia has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20, and they push him out at about the 25-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Tackle made at the 35. Offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Nice defensive stand there. And some good play calling defensively. They always had someone in the right spot to make a play and force the three and out. Awaits the snap. What a collision! So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He goes out of bounds around the 34 yard line. They complete the play action pass for a pickup of three. From their own 34 yard line, it's second down. He makes it out to maybe the 36 yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it 35. quickly and it's almost intercepted. I thought they did a good job of reading the play and positioning themselves well to break up the pass. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He gets it away and this is a really nice punt. He fields it at the 17. He's tackled at the 22. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Tackle at the 23. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's taken down right around the 44-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. And he's level at the 45-yard line. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. He's going to try and scramble. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. And they back up three yards on that play. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. They spread. 
spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Slings it. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. And this one is a beauty. Little too much leg into that punt, they'll bring it out to the 20. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Quick strike to the receiver. He's knocked out of bounds around the 25-yard line. It's second and five here. Ball on the 25. And down he goes to 39-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He has some room. Good run by the quarterback. The thing that impresses me is the decision making. He sees an opening, decides to turn it upfield, and gets a nice gain in a first down. He steps out at the 43. From the 43-yard line, second down. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Five wide. Looking to scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. Loss of six yards on the way. That'll bring up second and 15. Second and 15. Ball on the 39 yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Chandler picks up about four yards on the delayed handoff. This is the ninth play of this drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. Brought down at the 29. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. So it's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Tennessee's looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ball game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Scrambling around. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. Passes to the left, and it's going the other way. 
He's at the 40. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw. And that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. First and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. He gets hit out of bounds at the 31-yard line. That makes it second and six. Tennessee is up by three. Looks for his tight end over the middle. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. They come out in a five-wide set. Got it to his man on the screen. They'll bring him down right around the 20. That makes it second and six. Just throws this one away. From the 20-yard line, it's third down. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. It's up, and they tack on three points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Tennessee's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. And they make the stop at the 26-yard line. Quick pass intercepted. He's into the open field to the 10. Tackle made just outside the goal line. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Tennessee with a six-point lead. Touchdown, Volunteers. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. And he hits the PAT. Maglia has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. They need to show a little giddy-up now, because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. He's got an opening. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a deep five on the ball. So nowhere. That brings him so so nowhere. That's going to be a long day. Now he tries to buy some time. 
Slides down to the ground. That's good for the First down. Nice run there. That brings him second and five. Tackle at the 47. He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Decides to slide. That'll bring an end to the first quarter of action. The Volunteers with a 13-point lead. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Now he's scrambling. He's at the 20. He's taken down around the 19-yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Here he goes. Got the corner. Gains his way to the 7-yard line. You're always looking for ways to get your playmakers involved, whether it's handing it off or just throwing it to them. They'll get him in the backfield. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Second down and goal. Ball on the nine-yard line. He scrambled, and he sacked. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. From the 13-yard line, third down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Steps out of bounds at the 10. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 29. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. From their own 43-yard line. First down. Mike 17, Mike 17. Here we go. Let's bring it high. That makes it second and ten. Roger. Mike 17. And they'll bring him down behind. The line. That will make a third and thirteen. Third down, and they need to get it inside the forty-seven. Mike seventeen. Mike seventeen. Twenty. Black ninety. Black ninety. And they got him. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Mike.
Moore is the deep man awaiting the return. Moore fields it at the 24, and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And here's a quick throw. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Fires out to his wideout. He's pushed out of bounds at the 23. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That'll make it second and four. Slings it. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Number 18 on the tackle at the seven-yard line. That makes it Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. He's going to try and scramble. Runs through a defender, and he's in. It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming at them, but they just couldn't stop it. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a five-play, 64-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. So the score now, 13-10. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tennessee has a three-point lead. And down he goes, right around the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That brings up third and 12. Mike 17, Mike 17. That's a great tackle at the 18. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Fourth and long here after the sack. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Brought down at the 49. The Rebels got off to such a strong start. Even though they're struggling now, they've got to think that they can come back and do it again. Well, I think they have to think, and, and they have to be confident in their ability to move the ball, but... Right now, until they get a few first downs together, I think there's probably a little bit of doubt, and I think the defense they're facing is becoming more confident as well. He fights forward to about the 49. Phillips will run it again. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line.
Caught out in the open. Out of bounds around the 43-yard line. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Tennessee holds a field goal lead. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 22-yard line. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Throws incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. That makes it fourth and eight. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's got room to run. And he's level at the 41. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Brought down around the 44-yard line. Second and 13, ball on the 44. Here we go. Quick throw out to the receiver. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's tackled around the 21-yard line. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. First down. There we go, here we go. He goes out of bounds at the 17-yard line. That'll play action good for about four yards. I gotta give credit to the receiver here for getting separation from the coverage and making a good catch on the play. And he's tackled around the 17-yard line. Fires complete over the middle. Makes a move, and he's in for the touchdown. Did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's scrambling, and he's going to come up with a sack. 
perfect time to call the blitz. He took a bit of a chance, but it paid off by the linebacker being able to get through there, shoot the gap, and get to the quarterback. Caught open field. He's out of bounds around the 26-yard line. Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 26. Scrambling around. They'll make the sack. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. So the sack makes this a second and long. Rose had a man wide open and he missed him. Dumps it out left to the running back and they make the stop at the 49 yard line. Ole Miss is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Doyle is waiting for the snap. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Ole Miss is up by four. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. He's on the run. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. the catch and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. So at the end of the half, the Rebels lead 17-13. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. 
You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. We always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. For Ole Miss, they've been bringing the heat, and they've gotten to them on several occasions. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to it. The defense wants to dig in here to avoid any letdowns. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's taken down at the 28. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second to seven. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime packing. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. They need to run some screens and some quick slants to try to take advantage of this pursuit because this defense is coming after him. Over the middle to his tailback. And that was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. That makes it more than 12. Moore will be the return man. Oh, excellent punt. Tackle at the 47-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Ole Miss holds a four-point lead. He scrambled. Tackle at about the 41. He's going to try and scramble. And he's taken down at the 31 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes around the 23 yard line. That makes it second and two. Gets out to about the 21. Makes it out to about the 13. He makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line. From the 10 yard line, it's second down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. 
Boy, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player, because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down, looking at the energy on the field, and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. Ole Miss is up four. Goes over the middle, intercepted. The linebacker here does a good job with his instincts in getting in the path of the receiver. Boy, what a great play. From their own 14-yard line, first down. He's scrambling, and they got him. Can this offense do anything to slow down this pass rush? I think they need to make some adjustments with their pass protection. Maybe allow the backs to stay in the block because the quarterback is getting pounded back there. Seven-yard play. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. From their own 19-yard line, third down. Catches it, and that's all. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Doyle is the punter. <laughs> Tackle made at midfield. We've seen some mistakes from this quarterback tonight, Kurt. Yeah, I think this has been a soul-searching game for him because right now he's getting tested. His composure is being tested. His teammates are still believing in him. But right now for him, he's got to reach deep down and find out how much confidence he really has in himself. And wouldn't it be something if he could overcome the interceptions and these rabid fans for the win? You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. The best way to move beyond a turnover is to score. And when you can start on the other team's half of the field, you're in really good shape to have a chance to do that. Slings it out there incomplete. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. From the 50, second down. Ole Miss is up by four. Quick throw, brought down right around the 44-yard line. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. That's a game of eight on the play. First down. He makes it to the 35-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. down again. They go with a screen here and the halfback's got it. They'll drop in for a loss. and he splits the uprights. Logan. 
Harmon has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Fires it out. That reception good for seven yards. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. The play fake, good for only a couple. Look to his receiver, first down. And he tackles him hard at the 40. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Under pressure, and he can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That'll make it third and 13. So we're looking at another third down here. it to the middle of the field. He's tackled around the 42-yard line. Smith on the tackle at the 42-yard line. That makes it fourth and eight. Moore is back awaiting the punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. Ole Miss is up by a touchdown. And he's tackled around the 20-yard line. Scrambling around. He's tackled in the open field. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Gain of three yards. That makes it first and ten. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. on the run and it's intercepted. They'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. That 
gives the defense their fourth pick of the day. This defense is poor playmakers. They force the quarterback to make tough throws that he doesn't want to make, and that usually adds up to turnovers. First and ten, ball on the 27. They run it left. They go to the left for a nice game. That makes it second and six. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. The Rebels with a touchdown lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Makes the grab past the marker. And they make the stop at the 12-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 12. Tackle made at the 4-yard line. They come out in a goal line set. He's got the corner. He's taken down around the one yard line. So here we go. First and goal and a field goal won't cut it. Quick throw caught touchdown. be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. Tennessee is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's on the run. Tackle at about the 33-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. And it's caught, and he's taken down right around the 50. The ball, the ball, the ball, the ball, the ball. Throws a bullet over the middle. And down he goes around the 35-yard line. First down. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Now he tries to buy some time. He's wrapped up for the sack. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 36. He's flushed and they got it. Touchdown play. And 
and he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Nice catch on that one. Brought down right around the 40. From their own 40-yard line, first down. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Caught over the middle. These tackles around the 49-yard line. Taken down. From the 32 yard line, first down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. To get back in this game in the fourth quarter, this third and long is huge. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. Fires out to his receiver, and he's tackled at the 26-yard line. That makes it four and four. Under heavy pressure, he throws right, and he hauls it in. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. It's first and goal, and they need a touchdown. Setting up blockers, or running backs got it on the screen. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. An eight-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill and not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receivers. 27-27 ball game. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And a quick throw. He's knocked out of bounds at the 33. Makes it second and two. And 
And he shoved out of bounds around the 40-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He fights forward to about the 40. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he stopped behind the line. Brown to punt. Nice yardage on the run back. Well, this offense has found the end zone on their last two drives, and they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Less than three minutes in the game. Nice run, and he's brought down. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. And he's hit immediately. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46. Let's it fly. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Hey, this guy's got to forget about the drop. Remember, he was in good position to make a play. He airs it out. Finds the junior. He scores. What a play. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And he hits the PAT. So a six play, 69 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. So our score, 34 27. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Rose intercepts. No, he dropped it. Second and 10, ball on the 27. He steps out right around the 34. Now, I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game.
needed that play, and he dropped it. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Nice run up the middle. They'll bring him down at the 46. A little over a minute in the game. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. And they make the stop right around the 32-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Now he's scrambling. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. Five wide. He's taken down at the 22. Ole Miss is going to use their first time out of the half here. This is the 10th play of this drive. He scrambled. No one open, so he's going to run. Knocked out of bounds at the five-yard line. Well, this is it. They've got all four downs to get in the end zone. This defense has been in this situation before. They forced a huge turnover when they were backed into their own red zone last time. Looks to a receiver. Touchdown! Less than a minute to go. And he tacks on the extra point. Late in the fourth quarter, and with that score, we are now tied. And the way things are going, we might be going to an extra session or two. Ole Miss is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 29. Man, hang on to your hats, folks, because both these offenses are in gear right now. Well, the way these guys are executing right now, it could come down to just which defense can come up with one stop. Late in the fourth quarter now, tie football game. And if we're headed to overtime, I hope it's going to be as good as what we've seen through four quarters. Fires quickly to the tight end. Brought down at the 45-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Now he tries to buy some time. Throws it in a hurry. Tennessee's going to take their first time out of the half. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime. They counter that five wide receiver set. Fires it out. That's a great tackle at the 42 yard line. Tennessee's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Tackle around the 34 yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kurt. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. 59 Philly. 59 Philly. He's got a touchdown. The 
Tennessee is up by six. And he converts the extra point. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score. Tennessee, 41, Old Miss, 34. Well, that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.